Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Boy Diamond Media. How on a day? I hope you guys are doing great. Well, guys, if you are just into this channel for the first time, please don't forget to hit on that red subscribe button as you do also ring on the notification bell so that you will be the first to be notified anytime this channel just drop any video. Well, guys, also follow us on our Instagram handles and also on Facebook Diamond Media. Well, guys, on this video, we'll be bringing to you news around the world and in Africa and Nigeria. Well, guys, without wasting much of your time, we will be going on the news right away. And also, don't forget to leave your comments, share this video, like, and share to every social media platform you think of it. Well, guys, without wasting much of your time, let us just go straight into this news that we are here today. Alright, guys, let's go. Here is the first on the news. The shocking news for the first time in medical history, a baby boy has been born with three penises. A team of doctors have revealed. According to the doctors, he is the first ever human to be born with such fistures. The baby was reported to have been born three months ago in Dohok, Iraq. The condition is called Trifalia. According to the doctors, his parents discovered two skin projections at the base of his scrotum, after which they took him to the hospital. The doctors were baffled with when they discovered that they were penises. One matured 2 cm while the other was 1 cm. Only one of the penis had a head. Two week old baby dies in front of his parents after BMW crashed into his pram. A two week old baby has died after being hit by a car in front of his parents on Easter Sunday. Officers have investigated after a mother and baby were pinned against a wall after a BMW driver veered onto the pavement in Brohead, West Midland, England. The BMW was involved in a collision on the high street with another car before striking the pram at around 4 p.m. on April 4th. The baby boy was being pushed along the pavement by family at the time and suffered serious injuries. He was rushed to hospital but paramedics were unable to save his life. This is so terrible. Well guys, let's move on. Your criticism of Buari ungodly. Presidency criticized Bishop Kuka for his Easter Sunday message. The presidency has responded to the Easter message delivered by the Catholic Bishop of Sokoto Diocese, Matthew Hassan Kuka. In his homily on Sunday, April 4, the Catholic cleric said that insecurity, especially terrorism, has degenerated since 2015 President Buhari came into power. Responding, the presidency described Kuka's message as ungodly. In a statement issued by the senior special assistant on media and publicity, Malam Gaba Shehu in Abuja, the presidency accused Bishop Kuka of playing partisan politics by dragging the president into his Easter Sunday message. The statement read, all citizens have their individual ideologies, even their own version message. Prisoners allegedly fled as gunmen attacked Imo prison and set it ablaze. Unidentified gunmen set the correctional facility in Oweri, Imo State on fire. The fire broke out in the early hours of Monday, April 5th. The attack on the prison went on for over an hour with gunshots fired indiscriminately. An unconfirmed number of prisoners were set free. 
security personnel also reported to have been injured during the attack. Reno or Mokori reveals what he told UK police when they were called in by President Buhari's people during his protest at the Abuja House in London. Here is the video. Going down to Abuja House. We going down to Abuja House to check Buhari out of town. Baba Buhari, people are at your gate. Calm down, sir. Okay, thank you. 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 We go in down to Abuja House. We go in down to Abuja House. To chase Buhari out of town. He's gonna go. We go in down to Abuja House. We go in down to Abuja House. We go in down to Abuja House. To just Buhari out of town. Out. Now listen, I promised the police that yeah. I'm going to be leaving. Yeah. We have Yo. the right to peaceful protest. Yeah. I myself personally, I will, I'm going to be leaving. I told the police, yeah, no, you okay. guys Buhari remain, Buhari. remain here, but be peaceful. Be peaceful. Be peaceful. No violence. Be peaceful. No, no time for that. No violence. Be peaceful. Now, we are insisting that Buhari must go back to Nigeria. Yeah. I flew in here at great expense, at great risk. I'm not even eating at all. I came straight from the airport here because my country is important to me. Look at the only thing I flew with you. I flew with you. Nigeria Airways. That's to show you how proud I am of Nigeria. Nigeria Airways. All right. I feel that yeah, my toothbrush is here. My change of everything is here. I think from the Nigerian Airways. The colors I'm wearing, look at that. White, green. I'm proud of Nigeria, but I'm not proud of Nigeria's leaders. I am proud of Nigeria, but I'm not proud of Nigeria's leaders. Plateau lawmaker dies in accident on his way to his son's wedding. Aruna Matala, a member of the House of Representatives, representing Baxa, just not federal constituency of Plateau State and three others died in an accident. Aruna was traveling Friday, April 2nd from Abuja to Jos for his son's wedding. Slated to hold today, April 3rd, he was traveling alongside one of his sons, Jafaru Mantala, and an aide when the car ran into a pothole, veered off the road and ran into a tree. The accident happened at Bade, close to Kefi in Nasarawa State. Unfortunately, Aruna and his son Jafra and Aid and the driver died in the accident. <laughs> Don Jazzy's ex-wife has reacted to news of her marriage to the Hayes producer who revealed on Saturday April 3rd that he got married 
18 years ago but got divorced two years later after he chose his career over his marriage. After the revelation, many Nigerians went to look for the ex-wife's IG page and flooded her comment session with goodwill message. She has not reacted. Here is the message. Man spotted cutting red lines into different sides in Enugu. Actress Umi Zizi shared disturbing Instagram posts. The actress took to her Instagram handles to say, These days I live a miserable life to the extent I want to commit suicide. Kenny Wood actress Umi Zizi shared this post on Instagram and many of her fans are reacted to it. The actress added that she needs more prayers. Well guys, if you know you are fans, you need to pray seriously for this actress, okay? Man arrested for defiling his 15 years old wife's niece in Lagos. Alright guys, we have just come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for staying tuned to the end of this video, for watching. Guys, thank you. Also, don't forget to leave your comment, share this video to every social media platform you think of it so that it will get viral to the world and everybody will get to know what is going on around the world. Alright guys, thank you once again for watching and staying tuned. Bye.